Hey everyone, this is Lucky70x. Welcome back to Let's Play... Why was I going to say Pokemon? That doesn't make any sense at all. Paper Mario is Sticker Star! In the last episode, we went to a Yoshi's Sphinx. That was pretty cool and all. Like, it was a fun time until Kamek kind of just ruined the day. Seriously, just going to say this right now. There is no way in heck you can ever argue that a boss fight that, forced, that has moments where you literally can do nothing but waste resources is designed well in the slightest. There is no way that is a well-designed fight. This is why this game ends up being really bad. Well, not really bad, but it's the worst favorite Mario, in my opinion, at least. Stuff like that, and stuff like this episode today, because today we're going to do 2-3, and it is another thing, another example of, wow, this game really needs to be designed better. <laughs> oh god, I'm not looking forward to this. Here's what I have in my inventory, and, uh... Let's go ahead and get started. I, t I did this LP for a reason. I'm here to rant about the good and the bad. The good! The paratrooper scene from the last episode. In fact, the, you know, the Yoshi Sphinx is a cool level. I like it. The bad, Kamek. The bad, this level. Enjoy. Anyway, we're going to... Uh, I'm going to head over here where I'm going to hit this coin block so I can get that question mark block over there and avoid all these pokies. Also, we have a new enemy, as you can see, so uh, we got that to look forward to. Fine, Pokey, if you really want to die so badly, I will be happy to oblige you. Have a hop slipper. So, uh, yeah, I got a bunch of line jumps this time. As you can see, I have four of them, and I'm going to be getting a lot more of them in this episode, too. The reason is hop, uh, line, line jumps, I find it really, really strong in this level, and you will see why. But, uh, ooh, a mushroom. You know what? I have, three, like, three shiny mushrooms. I, you're just kind of a waste of inventory space. Can I peel you without getting to a fight? Oh my, wow, I actually didn't get into a fight. Well, I'm okay with that. Also, we still have to get that dry bow sticker. If I don't have it at the end of this episode, I'm literally going to go back and grind for it. So actually, I, there's really no way that's going to happen, but... Okay, jump, I don't need you because this line jump is obviously clearly but Well, fine, fall down there. See how much I care. Um, and I mean, if I sound frustrated playing this game, I'm still having fun. This is still an awesome LP. I'm still having a good time with this, so don't worry about that. I'm just, I, I'm ranting because it's a fun game to rant about. Anyways, here's the reason why line jumps are good, because you're going to be fighting in a Spike a lot in this episode. He also has unique drops, so I'm hoping I can get his as well. But, uh, they usually come with more foes, often aerial foes, so line jump ends up being really useful to at least take out one of the foes, and uh, hopefully it'll, it'll scare off Mr. Shy Guy as well. He's going to jump on us, which is cool and all. Oh, he's actually going to uh, do that instead. I mean, that's cool and all. I certainly don't mind, you know, being able to kill you both. That's always a good time. So, mm, I'm just going to use an Ice Flower. It's kind of a bit overkill, but I don't really want to waste another Line Jump quite yet. So, I'd rather waste an Ice Flower here, to be honest. And we got, well, we got uh, the Spike Ball sticker, so that's the one we're looking for. And uh, we got us another Sombrero, so that's always kind of cool. And, uh, yeah, another one of these guys shows up, which is just kind of silly, but whatever. Um, honestly, I don't want to really waste anything, any good resources right now, so let's just use the sombrero. There we go! That's how you do an excellent! You just have to wait a bit and not be stupid. I don't know, the, the timing on those, like, enemy things are always really strange to me, so... I don't know, they just, they're, they're, they're a little... They're not as obvious as, as some of the timings are in this game, so... Or as forgiving, perhaps. So that's a thing. Anyway, I'm hoping for another spike ball drop so I can show that off, but... Get a hammer instead? I mean, it's better than nothing. I'm gonna keep this hammer here so I can grab it later. Because we will be coming back up here later. But anyway, welcome to the main part of this level. Welcome to hell. Essentially. Paratrooper, can you, like, dive me or just not get in my way? That'd be kinda cool. Uh, it's essentially just a 2D level. 2D platforming level. Except it entirely revolves around falling down... It's basically a vertical maze where you can't backtrack. Yeah. That's as bad as it sounds. Like, it, that is as obnoxious as it sounds, basically. It's not very fun. Because essentially, it, it's so easy to get lost, it's so easy to lose track of where you are. It's it, Why would you ever design a, a vertical level, a vertical maze level? And to make it matters worse, there's actually two exits to deal with. So we're going to have to get both exits. Uh, I might not get them both in this episode. It depends on how long it takes to get the first exit. So if that takes a while, I'm going to end up uh, doing the second exit next episode. Because next episode is going to be really short anyway, so it actually can work. Anyway, if you ever need to go back to the beginning, send these, these little sand uh, 
things will push you back up to the top. So I just wanted to demonstrate that quickly. Anyway, the path where we want to actually go to end the level is to the right. So naturally, I'm going to go to the left because we're going to get through this level thoroughly. So fall down here. There's no way to get back up. That's the other thing is you're, if you take the right path, you're pretty much forced to beat the level without exploring it, which is just kind of silly. Anyway, I, I don't really actually want the slap hammer. Anyways, we can see these both of these paths both of these paths actually lead to the same spot. And actually, if you head over here, you can see that the path over here, if you drop to the right, also leads down here. So there's three paths basically leading to this one path. I don't I want, I don't want to break that thing, because you get basically one chance to walk across it, and it's best not to waste it, if you can. You have to step really far back to dodge the paratroopers. Just a heads up on that one. Um, they, they definitely are a bit hard to dodge sometimes. But we can go ahead and at least kill one of them with this line jump. I don't think it's going to kill both. I think it's only enough to kill one, and indeed it is. So, unfortunately, there are high-flying enemies, so stuff like uh, fire flowers won't work anyway. Unless I dip into shiny stickers, I don't think there's really it really is one way to one-shot these guys. I'm just going to use a hammer, because, like I said, I'm not very good at hammers, so I just need to kill something. Hammers are usually my way to go. You can tell that the hammer line and stuff is generally not my preferred weapon of choice in this game. Pretty obvious at this point. Anyway, we can fall down here to go uh, exploring, but we, we're, we'll do that later. For now, we're going to head over this way. And, uh, coffins! They are a thing that we'll see a lot of in this game. So, you can uh, pull these things to reveal a bunch of stuff. I really don't need all these power blocks. I really don't want more than two. <gasps> Friend! I hit my friends in the head of a hammer all the time. And then I hit them in the face of a hammer. Hooray! I'm not sure why I'm talking that voice now, but uh. We just killed a shy guy. It's pretty cool. And we got. How many sombreros am I gonna get? I, uh, can I have this amount of luck up the other drops, please? Like, you know, Mr. Drybone's here. Mr. Drybone's here. I need your drop. So we're gonna be killing every Drybone's we see in an effort to get the things I actually want to get. Because I want to hopefully get two of them so I can show one of them off. I also want to get the other spike balls so I can show that off and then have one for the museum. That would be ideal. So hopefully that's what happens. That's what I'm hoping for this, this episode. He keeps dropping that instead. I swear he actually does have a drop. I'm not I'm not crazy. I swear. I'm not cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo nuts. No, not, not at all. I'm totally cuckoo nuts. Anyway, uh, gonna get a burn hammer, and an ice hammer is actually new, so, uh, we'll actually be able to put that in our inventory soon. Uh, is there any, did I miss, no, I, I missed this, these two coffins. That's kind of important. Let's get more coffins. Also, the dry bones, as you can see, if you have the coffin fall on him, it will actually kill him. So, there is actually a way to eliminate the dry bones from the map. That's how you do so. So, if you ever have dry bones issues, that's what you gotta do. Anyway... Just some more money, but uh, we'll head over this way. We'll we'll drop down to the lower level in a. Actually, do I want to drop down now or? Hmm. I'll drop down later. I'm not worried about it right now. Are you alive or are you not alive? Also, is there like a hidden thing here? I'm just gonna double check before I drop down. There isn't. Sometimes they have uh, the paperized things in, in sneaky sneaky spots. So be on the lookout for those. Obviously, you're moving. Get up here, I want to fight you. All right! Like I said, I really just want to get uh, one of these dry bones drops if I can. That'd be really cool. Uh, burn hammer, why not? Hey, I got the excellent. Awesome, hopefully I'll kill both of them. Or, I guess burn hammer does not affect them in the slightest. Noted! Fire does not work. Hey, at least I got to show up the bone throw. We haven't technically shown that off yet, so... I suppose all's well that ends well. Uh... Well, at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and use a line jump to finish them off, because I just don't want to deal. Although, it's not going to finish this one off, it's just going to finish that one, which is annoying, but whatever. That bl actually does a lot of damage, even when you block it. Noted. So, we'll go ahead and just finish them off with the iron jump and call it a dry bones. Hopefully, he will finally drop what I'm looking for, because that's kind of the point why I'm doing all these fights. I guess I, should, I could cut these fights out. Dry bones just doesn't like me anymore. Dry Bones, I thought we were friends. I thought we were buddies. I... Get get out of my inventory. Get out of here. Get out of here! Anyway, we'll just go ahead and uh, refill our inventory a bit up again. Uh, I want... the jump instead. Anyway. 
So uh, if you take this path, you can't actually go back, but you actually end up on the right side of the map, which will lead us to more inside stuff. Uh, I'll show what happens when we drop down on the left side uh, later on in this episode. Hi! We're back to the usual Dry Bones murder. Surprise, surprise. No one was surprised that day. So, I know this is just kind of repetitive, but I will get the drop from this guy! I swear! It'll happen at some point, and we'll be really happy when it does. And I practice file, I got my first try. This one, apparently, we're just, we just can't have nice things. Anyway, uh, let's open this thing. As you know, we open these things to... Can, it can kill the dry bones, which is nice if you want that to happen, but, uh... I do actually want to fight them first, because... They have something I want! You have something I want, sir! Your soul! Oops. I... I did... I, I messed up the hop slipper timing. But I never miss up the hop slipper... You know what? I have so many shiny jumps that... Nuts to it. We're just gonna... We're just gonna murder this guy. Kind of a waste of a hop slipper. Honestly, it clears up more inventory space, so I don't even care. Really, I'm just trying to... <sighs> I can't catch a break. Anyway, uh, hammer this block over here will let you get access to this thing, which will get you another hop slipper and another uh, line jump, which is actually something I want, because as you can tell, line jumps are actually really helpful in this one. Anyway, you need to get out of here. But inside this coffin, which is why I headed over here first, is there is an HP apart. So that will actually bring us to 50, I believe, if I'm correct. Indeed. Your max HP in this game is 100, so we're already halfway there. You get a lot of HP ups up hearts early on in the game, which is kind of cool, so... 50 health. Not too shabby. And in this corner we have an e-camera. Honestly, I don't really care for e-cameras. I'm kind of terrible at them, so whatever. Anyway, you can drop down uh, here at some point if you take the right side first, so you'll end up here eventually. But I don't want to really deal with that quite yet, so we're going to go ahead and jump on this guy. Hooray for you! And if they held a spike ball above their head, you can't actually jump on them, so... Well, th there's no way I can not attack him to make him drop it. If you attack him, he'll drop it. So, unfortunately, I can't really show him throwing the ball at us. We'll see a lot more spikes later on, so we'll get that opportunity soon enough. But, hey, speaking of spikes, we got the spike ball, which is pretty cool. Uh, so, I have a shiny hammer. Kind of want to put it in my inventory, but I don't really... Oh, pearl hammer. You can go away. Let's organize our inventory again. Yay, organization! So, I'm going to drop it down this way, because I... Yeah, okay, it's going to take us here, which is where I wanted to end up. Uh, I don't want to end up down into the right, like the bottom right area is exactly where you want to go if you want to... Uh, it, it's where you end up to finish the level, so I don't want to go there yet, for obvious reasons. Anyways, actually, I think if you first strike the spike, he'll, he won't, he'll always drop his thing, and thus you won't have to deal with that. So... First striking the spike is usually generally a good idea. Also, never shot the spike ball. I should still do that at some point. I will, soon. Anyway, speaking of which, I'm gonna get more of them. Which is good, because I really like the spike ball sticker, actually. I like the timing on that. It's, it's just a really nice sticker, so... Speaking of stickers, the secret door sticker is right there, and ow! You hit me in the face, sir. Uh, as much as I want to use the... the Spike ball, I'm gonna quickly just get thin up the field a little bit here. Hopefully kill more than one of them, and unfortunately I don't. Well, whatever. We'll take some damage, but I'm still pretty good off, and these guys don't really do too much damage, so... Just for the sake of demonstrations, the spike ball! Hold it a little bit, and throw, and it does quite a bit of damage. I mean, it's pretty much the same as Sombrero, I just... it just feels more natural to me, if that makes any sort of sense. Which it probably doesn't, but whatever. I really should start running from these fights. I just don't like to run from the fights. I mean, they have really no purpose, which is really dumb, by the way, that these fights really don't generally have any sort of purpose at all. But whatever. We have enough spike balls, so I'm not going to deal with you. What we need to do here is open this thing up here. Uh, so the way we do that is we hit a bunch of these things, these coin blocks from underneath, and you can head over here and unpeel this thing. Which I believe is going to make us... No, okay, it falls that way. But it'll give us access to a shiny jump, a hammer... And a frog suit, which we actually haven't gotten to use yet, which is kind of cool. So, uh, I believe we'll have a hammer bro. Yes, we will actually have a hammer bro over here. So, for the sake of demonstration, let's go ahead and, uh, demonstrate what the frog suit does by... We'll go ahead and get a guaranteed two here. I don't want to poison myself, so no. 
And I'm actually gonna go ahead and show up with the frog suit does. Now I do want to have one of these in my, in, my, in my inventory when it comes to battling, but uh, for now we'll just go ahead and use this thing. So uh, it'll essentially a it'll double our next sticker. So this normal hammer does 26 now, or that's more than double. That's a lot more. Also, you can jump over foes to completely dodge them unless you jump way too early like that. So it doesn't always dodge, but it'll let you actually completely dodge some foes, which is also a nice little perk. So it's a cool sticker. I like it. Um, it's more, it's definitely very useful for bosses, though, so we'll be definitely using it for, uh, bosses in the future. And it'll be, it'll be good times. Uh, just gonna waste a hop slipper. Kind of a complete waste, but I'll use that shiny jump sticker that I'm eyeing right there. I'll, uh, I'll be using that one for, like, a spike or something that can just, like, one-shot it, which would be nice. Flashy hammer! Well, then, that's a pretty nice drop. Um... There is a path that actually leads us to drop down here. I just don't know what that path is, and... Do we really just have to have, like, all of these battles? It's just... It's getting kind of tedious here. I don't like it. <sighs> like I said, I could run. I really should start running from fights, and eventually I'm probably getting to the point where I'm just fed up with these fights to run, but... I don't know, the game isn't... It's supposed to be an RPG, you're supposed to do battles! I bet there's people out there who actually are kind of glad I'm doing these battles anyway, so... This is for you guys! All of these, these silly, silly battles, they're for you. Mr. Guy in the audience. Not sure why I'm wasting a shiny hammer, but I really am kind of out of other stickers I want to waste, so... We're getting to the point really where I should start using shinies. Also, we're getting to the point where I'm taking damage, and I should be a little bit more concerned about my health points at this point, because I have 15 left only. And the music's getting all wonky wonky, which is just not fun times. So, anyway, after all of this, we need to actually need to backtrack here for a bit and uh, head back to the beginning because we've actually reached a dead end. But I did manage to explore the majority of these inside parts and get enough spike balls to really be content. I still need to get some dry bone things, that's probably going to happen off camera at this point. But uh, at this point, let's head back up to the top and uh, take it from scratch here. I know, very exciting, right? But we got the majority. I think we got pretty much essentially every inside part that we need to deal with right now taken care of. Plus, we get a chance to heal, which is nice. So at least they give you a chance to heal. Very, very generous, I guess, considering how crappy this level is. Anyway, we're going to fall down this side because I do want to demonstrate once again, as we know. Oh, oh, I didn't actually demonstrate what's inside the door here. So, ow. Rude. Get out of here. Don't like you. Uh, man, you're doing one of those things, of that thing. It's just kind of silly. If I get an excellent the hammer, I can kill him in one shot, so... I got it! Awesome! And actually kills them both in one shot! So... Yay for excellent hammers being actually kind of strong. Huh. Oh, and a hop slipper. It's always good. So if you fall down here, like I like I said, you actually end up back here to the section of the door that we were in before. But now we can actually explore what happens if you fall down this way. So what you'll, you'll end up doing is you'll end up falling to the left of this thing. This door is going to be important in the future, but not actually right now. Um, this That'll be for our second run. But while we're here, we can actually grab one of three things. Uh, surprisingly, there's actually three things we can get here, and I've only gotten one of them so far. But we'll be getting the other two quite shortly. And now from here, I think I can really show the rest of this uh, area with just one more run through this thing, or one or two more runs through this. So at least we're getting towards the end of this level. But as you can see, if you don't know exactly what you're doing, which is kind of the theme of this game, really, if you don't know what you're doing, this game's frustrating as heck. But if you don't know what you're doing, you can see how this would be kind of a bit silly. Anyway, while we're here, let's go ahead and explore what's in this door, because I believe we're going to find our second thing in here, unless I've missed it already, but I'm pretty sure I have it. I'm pretty sure it's over here. Also, another line jump, which is kind of cool. So, let's just go ahead and open these coffins as usual. This one, I believe, has a Dry Bones, which is good, because I want to fight it. Yeah, it does. Hi, Dry Bones. We're going to be the best of friends. Let's see if I can do an E-Camera properly. It's kind of the same mechanics as a slipper, so... At least now that I got the sl or the, the flip-flop. Sandal, whatever the hell you call those things that Kamek used. So, they're kind of actually de- I mean, hop slippers ultimately do more damage. And also, I still didn't get my drop, which is annoying. Anyway, uh, we're going to pull this thing open because I want to see what's in here. It's just a jump. But uh, what we're actually excited for, if you can look at the background, look at the back of the coffins. You can tell this one's actually a door. 
And if you head in this door, you'll find our second thing of the level. There's actually th three things, like I said. One of them is actually very vital to the game, too, but, uh... That's a magnifying glass, so that's our second thing. And we'll find our third thing, actually, as we head towards the end of the level. It's pretty much right in our path, so... Anyway, we're gonna fall down this way. I believe, if I remember correctly, this is the door that, uh, yeah, this door actually is the one that leads back to uh, this thing. So, it just kind of leads back here. It just kind of goes a full circle. It's just, just, just kind of a thing. So from here, we have two options. We can fall down to the left, which will actually lead us to a certain secret. Or actually, or, or if we fall down the right, is it going to lead us back to... Okay, nope. This is actually the one that leads us back here. I should have known that. But you can decide to walk my boy back here, so... I'll cut this part out. Actually, I guess I won't cut this out, because you guys should probably see where we're going. So we don't want to fall to the right, we want to go to the left here. That's right. So right, right, left, and then I believe our answer lies to the right. Also, I'm not sure why I'm killing you. Uh, left is going to bring us to something else entirely different, but, uh... You know what, guy? Eat a sombrero. Which I failed, but it still killed you. I don't really like the sombreros. I'm going to keep a couple spike balls in my inventory on purpose, because I like them. That's kind of another reason why I'm fighting these guys, because honestly, if I can get a spike ball drop, that's kind of cool. I like the spike ball. You can tell. But, uh, we'll go ahead, finish this guy off, and... Then we can just do it, use a jump sticker to, uh, take on the rest. But... There definitely is a path, I'm not sure exactly where it is, uh, to get to above where, like, the hammer bro and the spike was, and that one path through the door. I'm not actually sure how to drop in above there, but I'm fairly sure from here, uh, if we drop to the right, we're going to end up at the end of this area. Correct? Or... No. No, okay, actually, th this is where we drop down to get here. So, crap, that means I'm still lost. So, wait, in order to get to the end of the area, I think you need to do something different. Well... Well, shoot. Which means I'm actually stuck going back to the beginning. See, even when I practice, I still don't remember the layout of this maze because it's just freaking stupid. This level is stupid. Goodbye. Actually, like I said, I should... I, I, as much as I want to cut these segments out, I kind of feel like it's even more helpful to... It's helpful to you guys to know exactly where I'm going. Okay, well, I know a guaranteed way to get to the... And it, maybe it's the only way. I think actually it might be the only way to get to the end. So what we want to do is le right, right, left. And then I guess I'm just going to drop down here. Oh, okay. No. Oh, oh, okay. So if it dumps you to the right, it'll dump you over here. If it dumps you to the left, which I think is a... Uh, basically, the more you turn those things around, the more they will rotate. So the fact that I've already gone through the thing so much basically forces it to rotate this way. I know that sounds really confusing, but uh, basically, the more you rotate those things by going dropping down other paths, the more that one will rotate, which can force you onto this path. Now, I'm going to just go ahead and, sit, ahead and say now, the middle, that, that's how you get to the middle island thing of the door there. That's how you get to the secret exit. So, basically, the way you get to the secret exit is by essentially getting to that part, so right, right, left, left, without hitting any of those other things. So, basically, by going through it just, you know, immediately from the start of the level, that's how you get to the secret exit. So because I've turned so many of these things before, it forces me down here. Which is fine, because I want to get to the regular regular exit first anyway. But that's how you get the secret exit. You'll see that momentarily anyway. I'm fairly sure there's no way I'm going to get this fight without fighting this guy. So let's just engage in battle with him. That is a ton of enemies. Wow, I'm out of, I'm out of line jumps, aren't I? Indeed, I am. How unfortunate. You know what? We're going to make our life easier here. We're gonna use a shiny shell for once. Because I just got one randomly anyway, so let's just wipe out everyone with one go. Because I really just don't feel like dealing with this guy. And from here, a simple hop slipper is enough to finish him off. I think there's a way to get a shiny pow block at some point soon as well. I definitely want to pick up a shiny pow block if I can, because that's gonna be kind of helpful. I feel like that we're gonna get one of those soon, because I'm gonna want to get one of those before the boss, but at least for using our shiny shell, we get a hammer very exciting stuff, but, uh... Hey, look, guys! More coffins! Aren't you just tired of opening these yet? 
It's just all sorts of obnoxious and annoying. Hooray! Also, I'm, I'm really looking at the time here, and I'm really thinking I'm going to end up... Wow, two, okay, well, there's the shiny Pow Blocks I thought we got soon. Speaking of which, I'm actually going to just get rid of these two now, because I'd really just rather have the two shiny ones. Um, anyway, here's our third thing, by the way. It's a bat! Well, that's exciting. So, three whole things at the price of one. Now, you're probably guys are wondering, how do I get this jump? I clearly cannot make that jump. Well, the trick here is to use the coffins, because you can actually climb up over this and use them as platforms to get across. It's actually kind of cool, not going to lie. That's See, this game has its clever moments. It has its good moments, just there's somewhat few and far between. Okay, unlimited dry bones. I could totally use this to grind for the bone if I wanted to. Er, well, okay. That's what the dry bones weapon is. It's a bone. I just kind of spoiled it accidentally, but, like, are you surprised? You shouldn't be. It's a bone. But apparently we're never going to get it, so... Now this is just getting a little obnoxious. I really don't want to deal with, uh... I'll still have a fight in the sand. That's kind of cool. But, uh... Really just want to end this level at this point, because this is already taking a while. And I just don't want to deal with any more dry bones. There it is! The bone! Yay! So, I'm not going to get another one, because obviously I'm clearly at the end of the level and I don't care to grind for another one. So I'll show off the bone and what it does when I show off these things. Because I'm, sh I'm gonna have to do fights that I'm not keeping anyway, so I may as well show off the bone there as well. But we're finally at the end of that level. Like I said, there's still a secret exit in that middle island over there, so we're still going to have to come back here and do that. Looking at the time... Uh, honestly, I guess I can quickly go ahead and get that. Definitely kind of something I want to... Uh, I'm, I'm kind of a little... Do I want to go back into this level and... How much... How much I actually still have quite a bit of room here. So, yeah, let's go back in here and get the secret exit. Because it doesn't take that long. Yeah, I'm pushing the episode time really long after this. But it's a long level. It's a stupid level. What do you expect? Anyway, I'm going to cut out until I get to the part where it matters. Because I'm going to get another frog suit as well. So I'm going to quickly go get that and take care of all other stuff. And then we'll get to the whole secret exit. So yeah, it's totally possible to come back here and get the frog suit without actually uh, locking away the secret exit thing without turning that thing. So that is a doable thing you can do. So can we not deal with you, Paragoomba? So yeah, um, I want to get another frog suit because it will be helpful for the boss eventually. Do I have to fight you? I guess I do. Well, honestly, I'll just... I don't have a line jump. Mmm, I don't really need these shiny ones, though, so... Goodbye, Mr. Guy! You're kinda cool, but I don't wanna deal with you. I guess at this point I'm keeping in the footage, so... Yeah, why not? We'll keep this footage in. Just because, uh, at this point I'm just gonna go straight to the secret exit, because... As much as I could go get, like, the other stickers in the level that are pretty decent, I just don't really want to waste the time, because... This level is annoying enough as it is. I was hoping for a spike ball there to... Really? stupid stand thing. Because, yeah, it's going to be a long episode, but I'd rather show everything in this level, and then the next episode is just going to be short. I could fight this guy to get the Sombrero sticker. I don't care. I don't even care. I'm not even mad. So the way you get to the secret exit is right. You head up here, and you head to the right again. So right, right. Actually, while I'm here, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to pick up a free line jump, because it's just right here. I know, I know, I'm being distracted, but whatever. Because free hops over line jump to fill up my inventory. Why not? And there's another line jump over here. So, I mean, while you're just you know while you're while you're heading back here, make sure you just restock up on the stuff that you need. Extra line jumps save me a lot of battles in the long run because you know they're just easy stickers to use. So anyway, uh, right, right, and then left, and then you want to go straight to the left again. I have to deal with you, unfortunately, though. Mr. Guy. See, this is why I wanted to get... Although, because this guy is, has a thing, I can't actually... Uh... Well, this is annoying, because I'm going to have to waste something. I might as well just spike ball him in the face. Have a spike ball. It's kind of fun to throw a spike at a spike ball, but anyway. Like I said, now that I have a line jump, I can actually just... Uh... 
kill these two a lot faster by doing this. And then, unfortunately, I wish the paratrooper was the one in front. I wish you could tar target the paratrooper first, then you could actually, you know, choose who takes the brunt of damage. But because he's in the back, it means he survives, and I have to do another sticker now, which is kind of stupid. Little, The little things. It's the little things. But, uh, yeah, at this point, we just head to the secret exit. It's right down here. Uh, last time we fell to the left, like I said, because uh, it of the way that works. But because we have it differently this time... Can I get this line jump without falling? I'm just being all sorts of daring, but I want it! Okay, so because uh, that thing's not tilted over, we actually end up in the middle platform instead of on the right. It's really confusing. Just, if you want to go to the secret exit, immediately when you enter the level, right, right, left, left. That's the secret exit right there. Anyway, we can also get this thing over here. Now, the way you actually want to do this is there's one of these blocks over here. So we'll go ahead, put a shiny jump in here, in the hopes to get another flashy jump, because I want to stockpile on some flashy jumps for the boss, because flashy jumps are just good. And I get another flashy jump. And then there's a sticker over here, or there's a thing over there, and you get a free shiny jump. So lots of shiny jumps. If you hit the spikes, by the way, you will take a point of damage, as you can see. This one over here we'll get actually later. So you head up here, and there's our secret exit is in this thing. But first we have to solve the puzzle of whatever the heck this thing is, and deal with that. First of all, if you go on over here, I believe this is just a Dry Bones. Indeed it is. You know, I might as well fight the Dry Bones with the, uh, that are here once, just to see if I can get, uh, whatchamacallit, another bone, and show it off that way. Because that'd be kind of cool. Can I just get a bone to throw at someone? I got a bone to pick with you, Dry Bones. See, I, I made a funny there. It was funny. There! See? Okay, another bone. So I actually can show it off without having to cheat, technically. Anyway, and then, uh, so you wonder, well, how can I get the star here? Because, well, as you can see, we, uh, we can't jump up to this block. It's too high. The way you go about doing this, first of all, you drop down here. Actually, there's two options. You can either drop down here and start off this way, or, uh, you actually can... Well, can... Okay, there we go. You go up in the coffin from behind. The other option is, you can actually, uh, see here... There's actually a little passage you can go through this way. So there's two ways you can get to this section. Anyway, shiny jump. These other things I don't care about. But you can drop down through this coffin, at least. And you find three coffins. Open one of them. It has a dry bones. Which I kind of spoil, but it has dry bones. Which I'm going to fight just because I can actually do a bone now. So here's the bone. It's basically the same as everything else. Except it is a little bit less damage. The spike ball actually does more damage. So, but yay, a bone. I don't even care about those five. You know what? Fine, I'll get the five coins. Ding! Worn out jump. Go away. And this one has a pal block. I guess I'll keep a normal pal block sticker. Those can come in handy in the future. And then this one leads us to up here. So as you can see, it's basically just a giant sort of maze of sorts. And then what you do is you head over here, you fall down here, and you open this thing. Once you open this thing, all of the sand is going to come rushing out. Um, and this will actually lower the sand block upstairs as well, because as you can see, it's lowering all of the sand from up there. So now that that sand's lowered, A, you can get this thing, which is the, just a ba hammer, and I could care less about it. And this will also let us um, lower this platform enough for us to jump up on here, jump up on here, and get the secret exit. So, that is 2-3. Both exits. Probably could put this one in a second video. But whatever, you guys are going to get a super long episode today instead, because why the heck not? I still have to show off all the things, too, so it's going to get even longer than this. To compensate, next episode is actually going to be a really short and easy one, so that makes life easier, I guess. At least that's my excuse. So we have a bunch of things to turn in here. I'm going to start by turning in the... Uh, the ones that are already new, which we'll see if it's in space my inventory, and then we'll show off the actual things. All three of them. So, uh, there's that to do as well. Lots of stuff to do right now. It's kind of exciting. So we got, okay, so two things up there, and then there's a third thing. The ice hammer, that's what, wait, that's what the other one is. So we get to turn in three of these things. That'll actually free up enough room for me to show off, uh, a lot of the other things coming up too, which is good. So, ice hammer. It's basically the same as the burn hammer, except with ice. I guess I could have picked up another one to show it off, but we'll get to see a lot of these later on anyway. So it's really nothing too special. It's just basically the bird hammer, except with an ice particle instead. So ultimately, it's not very exciting. It's just 
Ice Hammer. Also, why am I talking? Uh, I should be cutting this out because this video is long enough as it is. But we're going to go up to the stop one here. Alright, so we got the bone here. It's a, it does have a satisfying donk, I suppose. We're also worth throwing parts of dry bones. Ick. And then this is uh, Spike's ball. We kind of stole it from him, and it does some pretty good bonus damage as well. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, we have three things to show off. I have enough room in my inventory for two. So let's go. I'm going to go paperize them. Or fling them. So many weird terms in this game. Alright, so the jackhammer and the bat are both red, so they're both uh, two by two squares. And then the magnifying glass is a one by one. So that actually gives us just enough room to fit a magnifying glass in here, which is exactly how I planned it. And then I'll show off the bat after I uh, put these two in the museum, so... That's a thing! It's kind of a reference I keep accidentally making. Goombas shall suffer! The might of the jackhammer! So, just button mash as usual. And it will do about 20 damage, 25 damage, I think, to everyone. It does uh, it in series of five, though, which makes it not really as effective as other ones, but it looks cool, right? And then uh, the other thing we need to shop is the magnifying glass. So, hello, other Goomba. You will be my other target. Poor 1-1 one -one Goombas. They get so much murder. Once again, button mash. It's really all of them are button mashing. It's really just not very exciting, but... We're literally going to burn him with a magnifying glass! And that does 40 damage! Yeah! That does hurt. That, that one hurts. I like it. Burn everything. Alright, so here's the two thing doors. We'll go ahead and uh, start on the top one here. And magnifying glass! Burn everything. So yeah, that one's here. Uh, poor Toad just burned a lot of things before he discovered he can actually, you know, magnify things a it. It's kind of silly. And the Jackhammer. Training apparatus for Pogo Stick Champions. It's kind of silly. That one, is, that one was right here. And our final thing for today is the bat. It has a little Mario name on it. It's kind of cool. So uh, this sticker, I'm just going to say right now, will be important in the future. Make sure you get the bat. It's not story vital, but you just trust me, you're going to want it. So this poor little Goomba is just going to have a bad day now. A bat day now. It'll attack all foes by, uh, well, you can kind of imagine what's going to happen here. Although I like the music. Oh, well, if you press A and time it correctly, you'll actually uh, do more damage. But it hits him away. It's a cool sticker. It'll do da that damage to everyone. So it's not actually button mash A for once. It's timing. That's different. And there's the bat. It's pretty cool. It's all rotating and has the power to send round objects flying when swung correctly. Also, I vandalized, apparently. <gasps> oh, no. But, yeah. Uh, that description is actually kind of important. But, anyway, it's in that door. So, Mr. Guy, what's our final count for today? 48 and 11. It's pretty exciting. So... With that, guys, this episode is finally done. I apologize for it being such a long episode. I, I could I was debating between uh basically putting you know just the normal exit in one episode and then the secret exit and the short episode from next episode in a, a single medium length episode but I kind of figured given the nature of this of the secret exit it's kind of nice to have it all together so you guys can see exactly you know the path you need to take to get to the secret exit because it is kind of vital so hopefully I've given you guys a good layout at that level and hopefully if you guys are using this as a walkthrough you can go ahead and you know tackle it thoroughly now without it being confusing and frustrating as heck because it is frustrating as heck but anyway this is lucky 70 x signing out i'll see you guys in the next episode where we're going to take on the path open by the secret exit because it is actually vital to the path open by the normal exit you'll see what i mean soon enough so uh, i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye